Hi! Thanks for watching this play posit. This play posit will cover science unit 6 lesson 7 about igneous and metamorphic rocks. So with this we have the objective that we want to be able to recognize the characteristics of both igneous and metamorphic rocks that are found in Utah. So we do have our rock cycle song. So sing along with me. I don't have the background music today, but just sing with me. It's to row, 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 row your boat. Okay, we'll start on the count of three. One, two, three. Sedimentary rock has been formed in layers, often found near water sources with fossils from decayers. Then there's igneous rock here since earth was born. Molten lava cooled and hardened, that's how it is formed. These two types of rocks can also be transformed. With pressure, heat, and chemicals, metamorphic they'll become. So if you guys can remember this rock cycle song, you will do awesome with our rock unit. You were supposed to do unit six, lesson six, either on your own or with the play posit, and that is about sedimentary rocks. So what can you tell me about sedimentary rocks? Are you able to name some sedimentary rocks? Those are two things that you should be able to do if you did the lesson or watched the play posit. So just a reminder, sedimentary rocks are often rounded rounded particles, I mean. Their rock particles are stuck together, like cemented together, and you'll often see layers in them. But our focus today is igneous, so let's jump right in and talk about igneous rocks. So think of the song, How Are Igneous Rocks Formed? So igneous rocks are formed when melted rock from the center of the earth rises up and cools. So the melted rock inside the earth is called magma. And when it explodes out of the volcano, it's called lava, right? And we, they form different types of rocks, whether they form inside the earth or outside of the earth. So they're either going to be cooling very quickly or slowly, and that will determine how the crystals form. So it can have visible crystals like granite. If you look at a piece of granite, you can see the crystals and the different colors in it. Or it might not form any crystals and it might look like a glass. One thing to note about igneous rocks, they usually do not have layers. So that's important to remember. So it may or may not have crystals that you can see. It does not have layers typically. And may or may not have air holes. Like if we look at this pumice right here, you can see those air pockets. And that is because when pumice formed, it forms outside of the volcano and it forms so quickly that the air is inside it as it cools. Random fact about pumice, it's actually made from the ash of the volcano. So pretty cool. It's usually very light in weight. And if you actually grab your rock kit, let me just open mine up here. You can see that number three is pumice. So pull that out of your rock kit. If you look here, pumice is super, one, it's light in color. We'll switch here. So it's light in color, but you can see little air pockets, little holes in the rock. So, and then if you feel it, it is super lightweight. Okay, that's one thing about pumice. That's a characteristic of pumice. It's very lightweight because it's actually formed from the ash of the volcano that as it formed, it did that. Pretty cool about pumice, I like pumice. And then it may or may not look like a glass, like obsidian. Obsidian 
form so quickly that it's actually a glass there. And so we have some characteristics of our igneous rocks. I have written a song about igneous rocks. It's sung to Eye of the Tiger. So no judging here, but I am gonna sing that for you. It's Okay, so here is our igneous rocks sung to Eye of the Tiger. Rising up from the volcano, took my time to go slowly. Went the distance, riding on the lava flow, just a rock with its will to survive. And yet sometimes it happens so fast, there is no time to go slowly. Don't you think that our type is so vast? We are one of the most common rocks. We're the igneous rocks and we're usually dark, but sometimes there are several different colors, like granite and pumice, which are usually light. Then there's basalt and obsidian that are igneous. Obsidian cools so fast, it will feel very smooth now. Then there's basalt that forms from lava, it is usually very fine grained. We're the igneous rocks and we're usually dark, but sometimes there are several different colors, like granite and pumice, which are usually light. And there's a salt and obsidian that are igneous. Rising up straight to the top because pumice floats on water. Granite is one of the strongest rocks. It is made so that it will survive. We're the igneous rocks and we're usually dark, but sometimes there are many different colors, like granite and pumice, which are usually light. Then there's basalt and obsidian, the tegneous. The igneous rocks. So there you go. There is our igneous rock song. <laughs> um, yeah, a couple mistakes, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to shift gears now and talk about metamorphic rocks. So metamorphic rocks are formed from other rocks. So those igneous rocks and the sedimentary rocks, they are going to undergo extreme heat and pressure. Two words that you need to know. Igneous rocks are formed by heat and pressure. So it's gonna change the original rock into a new metamorphic rock. Since they come from other rocks, they might have layers, they might have crystals, if they have layers, typically they are more, a little bit more wavy because the pressure is kind of pushing down on different parts, right? So our two main characteristics for metamorphic rocks are, you can visibly see the crystals or minerals and they'll often have layers. Now, metamorphic are typically the hardest to identify just by looking at them 
because it's hard to tell whether it's the original rock or whether it's been changed into a new metamorphic rock. I have a metamorphic rock song. It is sung to the song Under Pressure. This song is still a work in progress, so it's not completely finished, but I will um, sing for you what I do have. This is all that I have so far. But here goes the first part. Melting down the rocks, pressing down on rocks, metamorphic it. Heat and pressure that changes other rocks into metamorphic, like granite to nice. So there you go. It's a work in progress, but those are the main parts, like pressure, melting down the rocks, pressing down on rocks, metamorphic, heat and pressure that changes other rocks into metamorphic, like granite to nice. So this is a tricky word. It is pronounced nice, like, oh, nice to meet you, right? It's pronounced nice. <laughs> so granite, when it undergoes heat and pressure, it's going to change into this cool rock called nice. Nice. So there you go. There is our beginning of our metamorphic song. I'll be sure to sing it when I finish it but it might be shorter than the others. <laughs> okay, for today, you can mark off Unit 6, Lesson 7 for doing this play posit. Thanks.